We've had some bad experiences with me eating on camera before with some very tasty treats where I have an issue trying to deliver the forecast with a full mouth. So Andrew, if you don't want to eat that donut, I'll totally uh, save it for me. I'll wait a second. Wait, okay, right, yeah, okay so this. I just want to, you know, you know what you're eating. Ooh. One sheep's stomach cleaned and thoroughly. Mm. Scalded, turned inside out, soaked overnight in cold salted water. Mm. Yeah, this is amazing. Heart and lungs. I'm reading the recipe. You gave it to me. Heart and lungs of one lamb. I never read uh, it. Stock from lungs. I wanted to keep it a surprise. One <laughs> teaspoon cinnamon. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is absolutely amazing. One Cinnamon's teaspoon good. nutmeg. How, how's that going down? I can't taste the nutmeg. You, can, you want the some of my coffee? The lungs is really standing. Yeah, I'll just take a sip of <laughs> Let's go to the forecast. And if you can understand me, Canada. This is actually really, really good. Though. Small I'm not going bites. To lie. Television lesson is small I bites. I learned my lesson. Reading on television. I learned my lesson last night. Oh, there we go. I did it. That's fantastic. <laughs> Can somebody grab my coffee over there? I didn't have enough milk in it. Yeah, that one right there. Thank you. People start yelling hot stuff, as, as handsome as you are. I hear that all the time. Actually, every time I step into the office, hot stuff, that's, you just ask Heather Hiscox or any of our team back in Toronto, and they'll tell you that's my nickname. Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. But here, it actually means that you better just stay out of the way, stop, and if you don't know what to do, just stop. They'll go around you. And that's a Boston cream? Well, yeah. Do you want to bite this, or is it going to explode? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A lot of cream in that, bro. <laughs> It has that been. the best donut ever. We had like five times the amount of cream. Up in Yellowknife. Yeah. One of the highlights of Jay and Heather's excellent adventure over these years, and one which Michael and Scott and you at home have been uh, sharing with us for these. How long? Three years? Not even three not years. Not even three years. Not long enough. Not, not, not long, long enough. enough. Not long enough. Years. You're right. Not long yeah. enough. That's a lovely cake. Yeah, it's not so busy was I didn't even have time to take off the ugly sweater to grab oh, the no. cake for Jay. And a nice little Jay. present so, as well. Yeah, nice well present. You know, Jewelry, don't way. tell Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had such good experience with food over the years. This is going to go well. I was going to say, eat this we have watched you forecast. try to eat live in more yeah. situations. Yeah. Just hold this off for a second because we want to show you a picture of somebody else to whom we owe a tremendous debt of gratitude. And this is Shelly. James, huge debt. Who is huge, huge debt. Jay's producer, yeah, and you've worked so wonderfully with Shelly over these months and years. All of the fun things that I've been able to do, to be out of the building and having fun on location and eating some interesting food, haggis, yes. my goodness, yes. all of that would not have been possible without Shelly. Every graphic yeah. you see, the forecast you see, it's a team effort, and I will say it's about 90-10, Shelly doing 90% <laughs> of the graphics, so thank you so much to Shelly. Thank Shelley. you, Shelly. Uh, you've been uh, instrumental in making this even possible. Well, stop for a second there, because uh, we'll just put you to work for a moment or two, and then we might have some, you know, something left that's, up our Christmas surprise. sweater <laughs> sleeve. <laughs> so we'll show some pictures. Niagara Falls, I don't know, it just seems so appropriate. I'll, uh, well, there's Toronto. Oh, I thought Toronto. we were showing Niagara Falls. That's I'm sorry about that. We'll be heading to CBC Toronto, exactly. January 5th. January the 5th. Okay, do a little work on on the forecast here, Jay, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what happens after that, okay? All right, well, we'll start with Toronto, where I actually, and I hope this is not a sign of things to come for CBC Toronto viewers, uh, let's just say the forecast for the snowfall wasn't 100% accurate. It was about double almost what I was actually forecasting. Not a sign of things to come, and I get a pass because it's my last day. Uh, sitting at minus three in Toronto, uh, we're going to see a gradual warm-up as we head today into the weekend, some milder temperatures. If you're too lazy to shovel the driveway or, like me, you don't like to brush off the car, uh, you'll see Mother Nature at least throwing some warmer temperatures your way to help melt that. There's a quick look at your current temperatures across the country. Sitting at minus six in Ottawa, minus four in Montreal, 10 degrees in Vancouver. We've got a very, very, very good forecast for you heading into the weekend. I know that it has been very soggy. It has been very windy. It has been a very messy one for the last number of days for the BC coast. Some lingering showers, still some pretty gusty winds this morning. You are looking at a, uh, a very, very nice forecast ahead this afternoon as some sun returns dry weather for the weekend, and actually for your Friday, nicest weather will be across the prairies. Fairly sunny, uh, very mild. As we look to the maritime, still looking at some light rain, some showers in your forecast today through Atlantic Canada. We're not talking heavy precipitation. Some snow down the valley, back through southern Quebec. Flurries, more so than snow, and some light snow, some flurries this morning in through parts of eastern Ontario as that area of low pressure continues to spin itself out. This is the nor'easter we've been contending with. Well, brought the snow for the last couple of days. First as we uh, look to uh, parts of eastern Canada and then working its way eventually into the Toronto area continues to spin itself out so it's not a great forecast but we're not seeing any heavy precipitation on the back end of that high pressure will be making its way in through southern Ontario clearing things nicely as we head into the weekend milder temperatures actually a big warm-up Sunday into Monday those temperatures in through southern Ontario are going to be nice it's that same ridge resulting in some very mild temperatures today it's gorgeous across the major centers for the prairie provinces starting to see that warm okay. air into north
northwestern that's Ontario. Enough. That's I'm enough done. of the forecast. <laughs> that's it. Oh, come on. Now listen. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on back over here. <laughs> back over here. <laughs> so you at home, you need to know. Let me show Jim's you. Back as well. Right Let me show you our team. I think you can see them here. Come on, come on over here, Come on over. Come on over here. So see you guys. Because you, you should know. Getting up, as you always say, 2.30 in the morning, it's not an easy thing. And Jay is like, as you see him at home, is like this day in, day out. We will miss your warmth. We will miss your energy. Someone wrote this morning saying, uh, you make the weather fun. Well, you make mornings fun. So yeah. we don't want it anyway. Thank you, thank you very much. Much. for years and years. about a 90% chance precipitation on your cheeks today. Uh, not goodbye. We'll say so long That's for right. now. And hopefully we'll see you again down the road. Okay. Suhanna, you're going to have an emotional day with uh, Mr. Scott hey, coming this up. This is what we do. This is what you do. <laughs> and just so you're watching, this is not Jay leaving CBC. Jay is going to CBC Toronto as of uh, the 5th of January. It is their gain. All the best to, to, to Kate and to Abby. And we'll be following as you get to introduce yourself to a whole new part of Canada. And I'll get from three alarm clocks down to one. And yeah, actually get to sleep in as well. Right. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate All it. All right. Yeah,